So far in our TypeScript journey, we've been using mostly the built-in types, such as string or number. However, the world really opens up to us when we can start adding in custom types. Let's start with a extremely simple custom type. So we're going to call this type channel. And we're going to define it just as a string. And then we're going to make our thing to watch a channel. And we see that this is a string and a channel is something of type string. So this works. If we try to do this as a Boolean, then it'll throw an error just like before. So in this case, this type is acting as an alias to the string. That's the simplest possible case. We could say that this is a string or a number. And here it will work fine. We could put in a number here and it'll accept it as a thing to watch, but then throw an error here because this function can only take a string. Although if we switch this to taking a channel, then the error transfers over to here because concat can't work on a number. And TypeScript is pretty great because it's going to recognize that. And notice even though it's a string here, it still recognizes it here because we could feed in a number. And if this was JavaScript, then we'd have to wait until at runtime someone fed in a number and things blew up. Okay, so we don't want a number here, but we don't want it to be just any old string. We want to limit the channels that our users can watch. So they can do viewscreencast.com or they can do lauracast.com or railscast.com. And now we have three possibilities, and this is called a type literal. So it's no longer saying it will accept any string. And if you try to put Netflix here, then it's going to show an error. So let's go back to that. And then let's actually expand the channels that we can watch. But let's create another type to show how we can combine existing custom types. So let's actually rename this programming channel and then we'll have another type and we'll call it academic channel and here we'll put great courses or MITx or Coursera and now we'll create type of channel that can be an academic channel or a programming channel. And now this is an acceptable ac uh, channel and we can change it to great courses and that works. But Netflix still does not work. So this restriction happens when we're assigning it to thing to watch and it's also going to apply any time that we give an argument to say something because that is defined as a channel. And notice the updated type definition that our ID is giving us. So if we put on just an old school TV network here, it doesn't work we put in something like this, it does work. Let's take a look at some examples from the view three source code. So here we have the type optional options. 
and it is a union of two type literals. So optional options can be one of these two strings, but nothing else. Next, we'll look at the cache key type. So the cache key can be a string, a number, or a component. And a component is another type that we are importing from another file. So there we go. That's the basics of type literals, custom types, and the union. There is, of course, much more to custom types. And in the next video, we'll be going over objects that will allow us to create a much more robust example, one that's probably closer to what you typically see in an application. Hey everyone, Jeffrey here. I hope you've enjoyed the free preview that we've made available on YouTube. If you want to see the rest of the course, go ahead and go to viewscreencast.com. There's six more videos, totaling about 40 minutes, and we're going to go into a lot of cool stuff like uh, interfaces and generics, as well as some more complexities of types. If you're watching this before the rest of the videos have been completed, you can go ahead and register and sign up for the notification list, and I'll send you an email right when each new video is released. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.